Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with Master Yoda of Machining, also known as Kevin Frischi of Calvinator Engines. Today, we're gonna to talk about what it is to CC a combustion chamber inside of a cylinder head. And I'm kind of excited to see this process in action. Can you tell us a little bit about this and why we do it? We're gonna do this so we can, without a doubt, know what the uh, static compression ratio of the engine is gonna be. It's a very simple process. We just need uh, valves for one cylinder, a spark plug that you're going to use and some Vaseline to seal the valves. And so you put a little bit of Vaseline we'll on, put the, a little on, Vaseline the, on the valve, on the valve face, face. So that'll seal. Plexiglass plate. You can make your own in a hardware store. I believe this is something I made or a buddy of mine made. And I know she also put a little bit of Vaseline around the outside yes, of the combustion chamber that's as well. going to seal that. You put the hole to the highest spot. I think that'll work. And then for a fluid, you can use many different things. I prefer rubbing alcohol, and that only works because I have a glass burette. If you have a plastic burette, you need to use something that's not gonna eat the plastic, which I would uh, was using uh, um, a water wetter or something to reduce the, the surface tension of the water, because uh, I don't wanna have any air bubbles in the burette. That this would give us a false reading. All very scientific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the part where I usually make a mess. I've already filled the burette and zeroed it, and the fluid is already clear to the tip, so once it starts rolling, it's counting. Didn't look like it made a mess. It, I will, guarantee. This is one of my least favorite jobs in the shop. Hopefully we don't get an air pocket back here. There we go. Yay. No air bubble. Things are going good. No whammies. Nothing running on the floor yet. Now I just got to stop it in time. Hmm. Well done. Pretty doggone close. Well so, done. We're reading at the bottom of the meniscus. We have 67 cc chambers. So we so we started up here at zero. Zero. And the volume that was displaced in here is now in here. And we ended up, what did you say, with the bottom of the meniscus? 67. And what is a meniscus? Uh, that's that word you learn in seventh it grade is. science it class. It is that word you, you learn in seventh grade. So anyway, you want to measure on the bottom of that little dish that that meniscus makes. So we've got, what? what is this again? 67. 67, 67 cc. Which I'm glad. Because I thought if it was going to be 64, this would be a little bit more static compression ratio than what I wanted. So um, this is a number you're happy with. Yes. And, and I tell you, I, I'm not a big fan of a large combustion chamber. Large combustion chambers require more spark advance to uh, get the fuel mixture lit properly. So a smaller chamber um, squeezes things a little tighter. We can get by with, with less timing. Um, it's a little more efficient burn, if you will. But uh, but there again, I I didn't want too much of a static compression ratio, and and we uh, did we all talk about the head gaskets a little bit. Six, sure, let's uh, talk about the head gaskets. Well, the the SCE series gasket we have is sixty two thousandths thick. I selected that gasket because it varies thick. in different thicknesses, so uh, that'll help. Hopefully. Hopefully this is around nine to one. We'll do the math and find out. Yeah, we're, that's that's the next step. Now that we know the combustion chamber volume, we take that number and put it with the volume that's inside the cylinders. The volume of the, the piston at top dead center, including the dish and the gasket volume, and of course the uh, swept volume. The, the compression ratio is basically a comparison of the volume of the piston at bottom dead center, the, the comparison to the uh, piston, the volume of the cylinder of the piston at top dead center. And I will put a link in the description to a video I did about octane ratings, which covers compression ratio and it has some cool animations for you. That'll be linked in the description. Right, so with that information that we just got from CC in the combustion chamber, this is Justin, also Kevin, you remember him. We're uh, plugging in a calculator to find out what the static compression ratio is. So what do we have? 8.91 to one. Really? That's like really great for like a boosted application, I think. Especially if you want to run pump gas and drive it. I do want to run pump gas and drive it. What do you think? I, I'm glad I got the bigger gaskets. Awesome sauce. We, when you figure it again with the uh, 39 thousandths uh, composition style gasket, 
we had uh, nine point uh, almost nine point four to one. Okay, that would have been pushing the envelope. So so now we're in a comfortable zone. I'm happy with eight point nine. 8.9 it is. Well, there you have it, kids. How to CC a combustion chamber. Wicked cool. Like I said, it's super science. And we have the super scientist, Kevin Frischer here of Calvinator Engines, who will be linked in the description so you can check out him and learn more about their shop. Also, support your local machine shops. Come on, this is cool stuff here. Anyway, if you have automotive questions, airatthecarguy.com. That will be linked in the description. Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you wish to connect with me socially. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you next time.